All right, jumping into another match against the Owl Bed Sykes. So they have been able to push us up another level. They have established their win streak. Uh, going over our techniques, though, we do have Sphere Shot on Waka. Um, we have Nat Pass 3 in the midfield. I think maybe, maybe we just try to sleep everyone. Maybe that's the answer. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in here. All right. I should know. In terms of increases, we get some good. We we get some good stuff. Uh, both Waka and Dotto uh, get additional shoot. Uh, Letty gets plus one more pass, uh, which is good for what we're about to just do here. Uh, and then Keepa gets one more catch. So really, we're we're seeing some positive stuff. Um, really, all we need to see is no anti nap in the field. To be honest, like if Barrick, if Barrick gets hit with this, but then he's like anti nap, like enabled, like ooh, it's. It's looking bad, you know what I mean? Like, that's not good for us. But yeah, let's uh, let's force ourselves to uh, encounter Barrack and then see what damage we can cause. Perfect. That's everything. We're going to play this pretty differently than what we've done the last previous games, but the last previous games we've lost, so, you know, arguably that makes sense. We are going to encounter Lake Am. Lake Am's another player that could definitely block this. Like I said, she could definitely block it. Uh, we're actually going to go over the flat line. We don't traditionally do that, but I mean, honestly, we, we they've got no forwards. So like, if we can just get Jasu. Come on, no, because she's probably going to pass it to someone like like Blap or Eager, and all our all of our efforts will be in vain. They'll all be they'll all be pointless. Uh, but let's go for the all-out defense now that we got Jasu pursuing her. And maybe we can get Waka and Jasu. No. Maybe we can wither her. I don't know. Maybe we can do something that's beneficial. We need to get a goal. Like, 100%, of course. Um, mm, I'm, I'm, like, riding the line between flatline and and uh, and all out. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's insane. Okay, so we should have, like, four people encounter Lake Am here. So that should be enough, arguably. Arguably, that's a good number. Her pass is withered. This all feels good. Ah, oh, dang it. I was hoping for uh, Letty to, to get the ball. Because now I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, what do I do here? Like, I, I can push. <gasps> Gold. We're good. We're good. Okay. We got something. Oh, wait. They do have a forward, don't they? I forgot about Eager. Uh, well, either way, we're going to try to sleep uh, Lake Am and then just bully Eager. Bro, how do we stop this lady? Dude, I don't even know. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, we're going to ideally block her. I mean, this is just the Hobbit Sykes. They've been, they've been insane. And now they wait. Okay, this is, this has gone from bad to worse. Um... Okay, I might, I'm gonna try again. Honestly, I might need to accept the fact that our nap strategy is dead. Um, because, I mean, regardless of the time, our our HP, right? Like, we have two more naps and four players. Like, that's that's not a good number. Um, that's not a good number at all. I mean, I, I think I try on Lake Gam again, because if I can just get Waka free, like, that's fine. That's all I care about. If she has anti-nap, I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna auto counter again. And then we're going to push with Letty for one more nap pass. Uh, and to be honest, with the amount of time we spent, there is a chance Barrack wakes up. I don't love that idea, but I, I need to acknowledge it. Oh, wow. Yeah, there he is. Called it. But we could, we should sleep him. There it is. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're going to auto counter, push with Waka. Uh, we get one chance, basically. One chance. One chance, one opportunity. Um... Oh, gosh, I really want to wake him to be slept too, though. But obviously, that's not a possibility. We can just push, 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 push. Perfect. Uh, and this is our one chance. That was pretty terrible, but maybe. All that just for one goal. But we got it.
honestly getting that goal is everything. It's just perfect. It's just so good. It's just so good. I mean, you can have Barrett push forward, but it mean it means nothing. It means nothing. So we love that. We love when it means nothing. And then ideally, ideally we can get a second goal, but it really just depends on the techniques. I think in the in the next half. I just want to stop this Albert Sykes win streak before it gets out of hand. Okay, so really similar stuff. Nap pass three versus all good. Now we have an, a two anti nap two on uh, on Nimrock. I mean that was never really a concern. I mean it is, but like honestly, like with the nap stuff, like once I see anti nap one, I kind of discount the strategy as a whole. I mean having no anti nap is insane. That's so good for us. But like when it had anti nap one, might as well be two in a lot of cases. I guess is what I'm saying. Um, it's just effective enough to make our strategy kind of stupid. To just yeet the ball, hope our nap triggers, hope there's anti-nap doesn't, you know what I mean? It's, it's too much. It's too many variables. And it's too much hoping and wishing. Yeah. But that's also why we cut out nap shot three. Because then, like, nap shot three, the only thing that stops us, in my opinion, is the, um, is the, is the fact that they have anti-nap two. If they have anti-nap one, I'm like, I'll take those odds. 50-50. Like take it, but uh, the 70, 30 plus 50, 50 just feels silly. Don't have to get fancy with our with our uh, invisible shot abilities, or ability to block invisible shots, I should say. Gonna go for the shot here, mostly because like the ball's eagers. I mean, he he gets it. Um, arguably, I should go for a pass. A pass is a pass is the better action. Like the shot is only a good idea if I think I have sphere shot and we're like trying to kill time. Uh, it is foolish. It is very, very foolish to try to try to kill time at the one minute mark. That is, uh, that's a little bit ambitious. That's a little bit like, okay, buddy, you really think you can kill a lot of time that way? I mean, you could try, but like, oh, good luck. I'm gonna go for the auto counter. I'm gonna go back to our roots here. I probably messed up. Passing to Waka was actually a bad idea, to be honest. Um, Letty was the better pass because he could have he could have immediately encountered Eager. Uh, but maybe we can just encounter Barrack here. Barrick is always a scary one, because he could block it. Um, gonna pass to Waka. Gonna do the thing where we take the tackle and do the stuff. Um, gonna feel really good about that, I think. I think that's really, uh, this is something that is a positive thing. We can definitely, uh, we can definitely succeed here. Oh man, I almost, I'm in a weird spot. When do I stop? I think yeah, I think I think I stop on the forwards to be honest. This is either blocked or uh yeah, I was gonna say. It's either blocked or like am gets slept. Either way, walk is the walk is the choice. I guess arguably you, there could have been like she doesn't touch the ball, because that happens occasionally. I don't know what the odds are on that though. That's oh my gosh, she's giving us the ball. She is dude never say like am didn't do anything for us. That's all I'm saying. Never say she doesn't do anything for us. Hey, we got it. All right, well, let's pass to Letty and see what we can do. Um, I'm, I'm still worried about the barrack uh, situation where he wakes up and then we get afraid. I almost think we focus on the forwards here and play more, more of a defensive strategy, but I'm going to be 100% with you guys. I just don't know how to make Letty encounter the forwards. <laughs> like, I have no idea. I really don't. I, I wish I could do it. I just don't know how. Um, we're able to sleep Judah, I guess. Uh, although there is always the risk now that they have forwards active. Uh, the thing is, this this is actually this is actually a good point to bring up. It's the double sides. Like they're on their side of the field, sure, but it's the double sides situation. I don't think it's that exact formation. But Eager and Blapa play the far outsides of the sphere pole, and I can never get my defenders to approach them at that point. Like it's like they're invincible. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's it's they're in they're on the side. It's over. You can't do anything. Uh, and it's the same thing when I try to nap them, right? I can't encounter them. I can't encounter them to stop their shots, and I can't encounter them to sleep them. Like it's it, it seems impossible for some for some reason. I, it's just really hard. Um, we are gonna get the sleep on Barrick. Uh, this is ambitious to the extreme, 
but we only have 40 seconds left. Let's go see if we can shoot. Or, you know, hint, hint, go for a uh, sphere shot that kills the entire clock. Well, well, well. Looks like it's time for my 50 hour sphere shot. Okay, it looks like it was 15 seconds, but still, with only 10 seconds left, 1 0, I do believe that's victory. That is perfect. Well, we're going to push the Albert Sykes up to level 77, I want to say, with a 1 0 win. I mean, not quite as impressive as a 3 0. I don't know if we'll get one of those in the near future. But uh, we do get the win. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And when you come back, going to be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.